Dear children of class 8, today we will be starting a new lesson that is chemical reactions. Chemical reactions, chapter number 6 of your test textbook. Chemical reactions. Now, seeing this term, chemical reaction, what comes in your mind? Now you are very much familiar with the word action. Action. The process of acting. The process of acting is action. Now, whenever I throw something like this, whenever I throw something, that is action. And whatever is your response, because of that action becomes reaction. Reaction. Now, I'm mixing lemon juice in corn. That is action. Adding lemon juice in corn is action. Whatever results I'll be getting, that is reaction. That is reaction. Every action has reaction. Every action has reaction. Okay. Every action has reaction. Now, whenever I beat, whenever I kick a football, that is my action. And how does that action respond? How does that action results? That action results into something and that is reaction. That is reaction. So here we will be talking about chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. Before, before starting chemical reaction, let me take you back to chapter 2 of your book that is physical changes and chemical changes. Now what is a change? What is a change? Change is transformation of a substance into another. What is a change? Change is transformation of a substance into another. That means water changing to ice. Water transforming to ice is a change. Because water was liquid and ice is solid, so you can see some change. But this change, this change is not in its composition. This change is not in its composition. This change is not because of the composition. Composition remains the same. Property remains the same. Water extinguishes fire. Ice also extinguishes fire. Water is test place, ice is also test place. Water is colorless, ice is also colorless. So they do not change their chemical properties, but they change their physical properties. So what are the physical properties of substance? Shape, size, color, sometimes, okay, dimension, color, then these are some of the physical changes and in a physical change no new substance is formed. Why no new substance is formed? Because in a physical chain only physical properties will change. Chemical composition. Composition means with what it is made up of. Atom, molecules or ions, they remain the same. Water is made up of water molecules. Ice is also made up of water molecule and even vapor is also made up of water molecule only. So molecule remains same. This is the reason why no new substance is formed. So physical change. In a physical change, no new substance is formed. But in a chemical change, new substances are formed. Why? Because in a chemical change, Physical properties as well as chemical properties will change. Composition changes. Atoms, molecules or ions will change. 
For example, for example, very simple. Okay, carbon when bond gives carbon dioxide. Carbon, carbon when bonds gives carbon dioxide. Carbon. This is oxygen, and this is carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. So carbon combines with oxygen to give carbon dioxide. Carbon can be burned. Can be burned. This house in burning. Oxygen house in burning. Oxygen house in burning. So when carbon is burned in presence of oxygen, we get carbon dioxide. We get carbon dioxide. And you must be saying that okay, you must be saying that okay, we see the gas only, but we don't see carbon dioxide. We see O2. We don't see CO2. Later, alpha wave CO2, we don't see. We see fumes, gas coming out. Then, how to know a new substance is formed? So, for that, you need to go for the properties. You need to go for the properties. Carbon burns. Oxygen helps in burning. But carbon dioxide, whatever gas you are getting, you, you just accumulate that and try to burn it. You will not be able to burn. Rather, it will extinguish fire. Carbon dioxide extinguishes fire. That means whatever product we are getting, that has totally different properties than the combining substances. The new substance that we are getting will have completely different property. Completely different property. So this is a chemical change. This is a chemical change. Why this is a chemical change? Because new substance with entirely different properties is formed. And whatever we write on the left side is Reacting. Whatever, whatever we write on the left hand side is reacting, and whatever we write on the right hand side is product. Whatever we write on the left side is reacting, and whatever we write on the right side is product. Okay. See again one another example I want to give you. H plus O2 gives H to O. Now, I have said you in previous chapter that the equation must be balanced. The chemical equation must be balanced. So why a chemical equation must be balanced? In order to follow law of conservation of mass which says that mass or matter can neither be created nor destroyed so matter can neither be created nor destroyed so because of that no atoms in a chemical reaction should be destroyed or should be created for example I'm reacting here hydrogen and oxygen I should not get here something like carbon nitrogen because there is no carbon nitrogen on the reacting side. So whatever is there on the reacting side, whatever atoms are there, okay, whatever atoms are there on the reacting side, the same atom should be there on the product side during a chemical reaction. I'm repeating again, whatever atoms are present in the reacting side. The same atoms should be there on the product side. There should be no different atoms in a chemical reaction. Means, 
When you are reacting as two plus O two, you should not get CO two. Whenever you are reacting hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, you should not write carbon dioxide. It is impossible. It is impossible. It is like planting a plant of apple and thinking to get guava. Or you apple, you got guava. That is impossible. So you are reacting hydrogen and oxygen, means you will get product of hydrogen and oxygen only, not carbon dioxide. So it will be water. It will be water. It will be water. So hydrogen is here. Hydrogen is here. Oxygen is here. Oxygen is here. The number of atoms can be different. Number of atoms can be different, but same atoms will be there on the reactant and product side. Same atoms must be present in the reactant and product side. Okay, so number of atoms can be different, but the same atoms will be there on the reactant as well as in the product side in order to follow the law of conservation of mass. Now, number of atoms is different. Hydrogen is two here. Hydrogen is two here. Oxygen is two here. Oxygen is one here. So we need to balance. So how do we balance? This side oxygen is less. This side it is one, and this side it is two. So make it two. Okay. Now oxygen is two. Oxygen is two. Hydrogen has become now four. Is here to multiply. Two two are four. Here is one. We ignored it, but here is one. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. But here we have only two, so make it four. Yes. Now, what really happens in a chemical reaction? Let's see that. What really happens? What really happens in a chemical reaction? Let's see that. What happens in a chemical reaction? What happens in a chemical reaction? So you must be thinking, what happens in a chemical reaction? What really? Takes undergoes in the chemical reaction. So let's see. I am saying the same atoms should be there on the other side. It means what is happening? So what do you think is happening? This side hydrogen is there. This side oxygen is also there. This side also hydrogen and oxygen is there. So what is happening? Chemical reaction is all about rearrangement of atoms. So. Arrangement of atoms takes place in a chemical reaction. So, what happens in a chemical reaction? Rearrangement of atoms takes place in a chemical reaction. You can see here. Hydrogen is only present here. If I have to explain this, the hydrogen, this is another hydrogen. This become one molecule, and this is another molecule. Oxygen, this is one molecule and only one molecule. This is two molecules. This is one molecule, and this is water. So two molecules of hydrogen combines with one molecule of oxygen to give two molecules of water. To give two molecules of water.
Now, this hydrogen H2, H2, hydrogen atom combines with another hydrogen atom to form hydrogen molecule. Hydrogen atom, hydrogen atom plus hydrogen atom gives hydrogen molecule. Hydrogen molecule. So two hydrogen atoms combine to form hydrogen molecule. Two oxygen atoms combine to form oxygen molecule. Why? Because they are diatomic. Their molecule contains two atoms. Their molecule contains two atoms because they are diatomic element. They are diatomic element. So their atom, their molecule contains two atoms. Now Now what is this? What is this? What do you think about this line? You can see here one line. What is this line? What is this line? Yes? What is this line? Do we see this line really? In our life, in our daily life, do we see this kind of lines? We inhale oxygen. Do we see this state of lines or do we see this? Oh, no, these are all symbols of it. is like your name. It is like your name. If your name is Alphalai, then we see a boy coming. We don't see a boy coming. If uh, one girl name is Gita, then we don't see Gita. We see a girl coming. So that Gita, that Avai, is, is the symbol is the symbol given to those girls and boys. Similarly, this O is symbol given to the element oxygen. And O2 is the molecular formula symbol of oxygen molecule is O2. Okay. And this line, this line is bone. This line is bone and bone. What is this? Chemical bone. So what is a chemical bone? What is bond actually? In English also bond means relation. Bond means relation. So what is chemical bond? Yes, what is a chemical bond? Bond means relation. What is a chemical bond? Chemical bond is the force of attraction that holds atoms in a molecule. Force of attraction that holds atoms in a molecule. It is why force, uh, the force of attraction between stars does not allow a star to fall. Force of attraction between the planets, between the sun, stars and all does not allow them to fall. So why they are not falling? Because of the force of attraction. Because of the force of attraction. And what attracts us towards our goal? That is also force of attraction. Okay, the love that we get from our parents attracts us towards goal. So that is force of attraction. So this bond is also force of attraction that holds these two atoms, that hold the atoms in a molecule. So that the atoms do not do not run away, do not fall. Gonna drop away so that they hold tightly in a molecule. So what helps the atoms in a molecule to hold it tightly? Force of attraction. And this force of attraction between the atoms in a molecule is called chemical bond. It's called the chemical bond. And there are two types of chemical bond. They are covalent bond. And electrovalent bond. This electrovalent bond is between metal and non-metal. But covalent bond is between non-metal and non-metal. Electrovalent bond is formed between metal and non-metal, where metal can transfer electron, metal can give electron, metal can lose electron, non-metal can receive electron. 
so giving and taking giving and taking in a electrophilic mode what takes place transfer of electron takes place but in covalent mode sharing of electrons takes place here this hydrogen is non metal this is also non metal so this bond is formed by the sharing of electron this is oxygen is non metal oxygen is non metal this is formed by sharing of electron here also this is non metal and this is non metal so this is formed this in this bond is also chemical bond oh sorry covalent bond because this is also formed by sharing of electron so between non metal and non metal there is sharing of electron and that is covalent bond between metal and non metal there is transfer of electron and hence that is electrovalent bond okay so what happens in a chemical reaction is here hydrogen is linked to hydrogen here oxygen is linked to oxygen for what you can see here oxygen is linked to hydrogen just different from this atoms are same atoms are same but only the arrangement has changed here hydrogen was arranged with another hydrogen oxygen was arranged with another oxygen but here one oxygen is arranged with two hydrogens and hydrogen and hydrogen are not directly hydrogen and hydrogen are not directly linked one hydrogen Two hydrogens are linked to oxygen. That means, can you see the different arrangement? Can you see the different arrangement? Arrangement is totally different. Arrangement is totally different. Here hydrogen is linked to hydrogen. Here oxygen is linked to oxygen. But here oxygen is linked to hydrogen. So what happens in a chemical reaction? That means breaking of bond and formation of bond takes place. What really happens in a chemical reaction? Breaking of bond and formation of bond takes place. Breaking of old bonds and formation of new bonds takes place in a chemical reaction. So I think uh, you have understood what is chemical reaction. What is a chemical reaction? Yes, it is the chemical change. in which all substances in which all substances undergo in which all substances transforms into new substances what is a chemical reaction it is a chemical change in which all substances transform all substances are substances transforms into new substances or new substances so that is a chemical reaction so what happens in a chemical reaction in a chemical reaction rearrangement of atoms takes place so how is this rearrangement possible because during a chemical reaction bond breaks bond breaks and the atoms will be free and these atoms will combine with other atoms and forms new substances new arrangement you can see so with this new arrangement new molecules are formed new molecules are formed and whenever molecular composition changes a new substance will be changed their properties will be totally changed so this is what happens in a chemical reaction so in a chemical reaction what happens a reactant undergoes a chemical reaction to give product uh Whenever you are seeing this video, make sure that you will be opening page number sixty-eight of your textbook, so that you will be easily understanding the concept. This much for today. Thank you.